of packing cubes. Do they actually save any space or is it just a scam by large travel companies to get you to buy them? In this video, we'll find out. Essentially, I'm just going to be performing a simple test here. I will be packing these clothes inside this carry-on without any packing cubes and with packing cubes. And when I'm done, I'm going to be comparing the results and seeing if I'm able to save any space. Also, I'll be comparing regular packing cubes, which are these ones right here, with compression cubes. If you don't know the difference, essentially regular packing cubes come with only one zipper, which closes the main compartment. But compression cubes come with two zippers. The first zipper closes the main compartment just like on regular packing cubes, but the second zipper is the compression zipper, which compresses the width by several inches and it supposedly saves more space, but we'll find out later in this video. By the way, if you're new to this channel, I'm Oscar from Clever Journey. On this channel, we post all kinds of travel-related stuff, such as travel gear reviews, packing tips, travel tips, and videos similar to this one. If you're interested in traveling, make sure to click the subscribe button down below to not miss any of our future videos. Anyway, let's cut to the footage where I actually do the test. So I guess let's start by packing these clothes inside this carry-on and seeing how everything looks. Here's the end result. As you can see, nothing's too overstuffed. I can easily close the suitcase. And overall, it's an okay solution to pack a suitcase. Next, let's pack all of these clothes inside these three packing cubes and see if I'm able to save any space. Here's the end result with using three regular packing cubes. As you can see, nothing is too overstuffed and I'm able to easily close the suitcase. Now let's see if I'm able to save some space with compression cubes. Okay, so I just finished concluding the test and now I'll give my own thoughts on the whole experiment. When I packed the suitcase without using any packing cubes or compression cubes, I guess it was okay, however I didn't like the fact that everything was kind of unorganized there and if I needed to get something from the bottom I had to reorganize the whole suitcase and everything would become messy and unorganized and I, overall I just didn't like it. After that I packed the suitcase with regular packing cubes. Truth be told I think I didn't save any space from doing that. So I guess I can just go ahead and say that packing cubes don't save any space. If they do, the space savings are tiny. However, I still think that using packing cubes is very beneficial if you'll be traveling frequently. That's because everything inside the suitcase is very organized when you're using packing cubes. If you need to get something out from the bottom, you just take out all of your cubes and get something from each cube individually. Also, I love the fact that when you're using regular packing cubes, they're very easy to pack into. For instance, compression cubes are kind of hard to pack because uh, when you're closing the compression zipper, often the fabric gets stuck. It's kind of, it takes some effort to do that. So if you're just going for the easy organized way, I'd say that regular packing cubes is the way to go. But if you're looking to save some space, then compression cubes is definitely the way to go. From my own experiment, I concluded that compression cubes do save about 15 to maybe sometimes even 30% of the total space. Just take a look at this suitcase. As you can see, there's clearly some space left over here. You can pack another jacket over here. And at the bottom, there's some space left over here in the sides. Now, obviously, this cube right here sticks out a bit when you pack it over here, but I can still close the suitcase and everything works perfectly. The only downside for using compression cubes is that your clothes are a bit more wrinkled in them because of all the compression that's going on. Another thing about compression cubes is that, in my opinion, they work better in backpacks, not in suitcases. That's because when you compress a compression cube, it isn't rectangular anymore. And when you pack them next to each other, you lose some space in the corners. 
And remember, if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing, because on this channel we post all kinds of travel-related content that will help you become a smarter traveler. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.